able to accomplish against Tua. Bell says, I've thrown so many jabs in the gym, I feel like my left arm is going to fall off. For his part, Tua wants to start faster than is normally the case, and you see his combination-based effort to do that right there. But David Tua is really at his best, Roy Jones, when he gets to the body, so we'll be watching to see when he starts landing to the body with his heavy shot. There's also a little cut above the right eyebrow of Bell. It's starting to open up now and bleed more profusely. Now, this is a thunderous assault by Tua, Roy. A very big assault, but what has to happen here is Tua has to make sure he's not, he doesn't punch himself out. And already the doctor has been called into the ring to check Bell's eye. And I don't think that was a headbutt. That, that was the product of a right hand by Tua, unless I miss my guess. No, you're exactly right, Jim. This could be good for Tua, though, because he got a chance to rest and regather himself. He threw a lot of punches then, and when you have the extra weight, location of that cut and its apparent depth are going to pose a real problem for the people in Gary Bell's corner. Yeah, I think it's going to eventually cause problems with his vision in that eye. And there's Tua going after it with a looping right hand over the top. And he lands another right cross to the jaw, and Bell's knees buckle. He almost goes down to a raining punches on Bell, and the referee stops the fight. Well, who, whoever took the 13 to 1 odds didn't make the killing that he was hoping to. <laughs> and Gary Bell, you're not in Iowa anymore. Those four wins in Iowa coming in were against opponents with a combined record of 47 wins, 110 losses, and three draws. That ain't like fighting David Tua. No, it's 